Hey, John. Hi, Chad. Uh, isn't that the car you bought from the vending machine? Yeah, so I called him and tried to send it back. Oh, my gosh. The stuff you have to do to try to send this thing back is ridiculous. So I figured I could live with the chip and, you know, I'll have to put some tires and stuff on it here down the road. So, um, but other than that, it runs and drives great. So uh, I wanted to show it to you. I'm going to pull it out of the garage here. Oh, what is that? Oh, man, that has an oil leak. Already? Yeah. You just bought it. Well, John, this is not very much fun. So now, I guess, my poor dude here has to take the car to the dealership and decide if he wants to pay for the repairs up front or if he wants to try to get the dealer to call Karbrumski and find out if they'll take care of it and pay the dealership directly. But what if I would have bought that car from Keitlinger Motors, John? What would have happened then? I'll bet if I would have went to Keitlinger Motors and I had this problem, I'll bet I would have went back and they would have taken care of it immediately so I wouldn't have been without a car for a couple of weeks and had an oil leak, huh? And you had a salesperson to talk to that would have helped you through it. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to fix this Bluetooth. I still can't get my phone hooked up. I'll bet they would have showed me that too, huh? Yeah. I mean, but it runs and drives good. Once I get this fixed, maybe it'll be okay. So, anyways, Kylinger.com, that's where you go. Don't do this stuff. Have a great day. Hey. The people you know, kind.